the uh, image, and no issues to report. Copy. You can see the docking port on the zenith side of the Zvezda service module, just about in the crosshairs of this engineering view from the uh, cameras on the Poisk module. Poisk now 100 meters away from docking. Moscow says, go ahead, 98 meters uh, range, no failure of messages displayed. Do you want us to switch to VHF? It's up to you, whatever is more convenient. And we're watching display 44 at this time. Copy. The target is at the center. All right, so let's just stay on space to ground one uh, at this time. Copy. One minute to sunset. Copy. At 18.41, Maxim, we're going to uh, have dropouts on S-band, so um, it would be better if you switch to VHF. Copy. Switching to VHF. Moscow says, how do you read us on VHF? Moscow. 64 meters away now, standing by for the retraction of the core's antenna on the new Poisk module. Everything going uh, by the book, no issues reported, a very smooth approach by the brand new component for the International Space Station. 32 closing rate, target is at the center. No messages, abnormal messages displayed. Copy. Prepare to enter eclipse. Preparing to enter eclipse, right, uh, which means you will have to use AGC mode uh, to select better lighting conditions. Copy and work. I think this is good. Uh, we had a indicator mode um, flag blank. Uh, it's no longer illuminated, and uh, we're watching target in the center of the screen. Is it visible? Yes, it's very well visible. And uh, I think um, the lighting is not so good. Uh, I think uh, it was better at the previous setting. No, it's better for me. I can see it better this way. Okay, copy. Our range is about uh, 32 to 33 meters, and uh, we can confirm that visually. Hi, Heidi Poppelreiter, the visiting vehicle ready. officer here in uh, Mission Control, reporting to Flight Director Holly Ridings that uh, the docking copy. mechanism is... Uh, now activated on the zenith side of the Zvezda service module. You can see the docking target just below the port itself, almost at the center of the crosshairs, 28 meters now separating uh, the Poisk from its uh, final home on the space-facing side of Zvezda. Range is the uh, core's uh, antenna now has uh, been confirmed to have retracted as planned Everything going by the book. Zero decimal one eight. No off nominal messages displayed. Copy. Uh, we lost the image. Are you still seeing it? Yes, we're seeing the image, uh, but um, we see a, an increase um, in roll. So the roll is increasing. And uh, the target is at the center, uh, but above, actually above the center, about one square above it. Okay, copy. That's because of the roll. And the range rate is uh, 0 0.18. The target is at the center. Twenty-three meters away, the core's automated system now correcting uh, to place uh, the docking target back into the middle of the crosshairs. The docking port itself is, is at the top of your screen. Copy. Visually. Continuing to close at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second.
range rate is nominal and the target has shifted from the center uh, by about one square. Copy. Range three meters. Copy. Maxim, everything's great. Range is about one meter. Standing by for contact and capture. Closing rate nominal, standing by for contact. Copy. Contact confirmed. Maxime, Docking confirmed contact. at 9.41 a.m. Central Time. Thank you, Maxime, for your work. Congratulations to you. A new addition to the International Space Station, the Poisk module. Sorry, say again, Moscow. Docking occurring 222 miles over northern Kazakhstan yeah, uh, at 9.41 a.m. Central Time. Happened automatically. Yeah, we wanted to take over, but uh, we couldn't do it without a go from you, unfortunately. Yes, that's okay, Maxime. Everything went well. Okay, and we have contact and capture confirmed. The station now in free drift, all thrusters disabled uh, to enable relative motion between the newly arrived Poisk and the Zvezda service module to dampen out before the initiation of hooks and latches. Copy and work, going to page 27. And Maxime, a reminder. A flawless textbook approach by the new module that was launched on Tuesday from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a modified Soyuz rocket. Uh, the two-day transit was uneventful, again docking occurring at 9.41 a.m. Central Time, 222 miles over northern Kazakhstan. Yes, I will do that, of course, uh, if you just give me one second. Okay, and I'm on page 27, so operation on uh, Oder. Activation and work. We'll be standing by for confirmation of the hooks and latches having okay. engaged to form a hard okay. mate between the two vehicles. Again, the uh, Expedition 21 crew on board the International okay. Space Station will spend uh, the next several yeah, hours conducting ahead. leak checks at the docking okay. interface to make sure we have a, uh, yes, a nice tight manual. seal an airtight seal uh, prior to the opening of the hatches that are scheduled about 5.30 central time on Friday. Okay, deactivating TV, which uh, was never activated. I'm sorry, did you deactivate TV or n no? Yes, we sent the command to deactivate TV. Copy. Activating BPS to initial. Copy. BPS initial, confirmed, deactivating, command transmission. And uh, Artem, can you ask if you, you would like me to put the um, recorded uh, file on o video file on OCA per radiogram 1670? Yes, please do, Roman. Copy then. Okay, operation mode off, confirmed, and uh, sending command uh, for OBPS to initial and deactivating state or network. And that's finished. Post docking uh, work uh, being conducted in the Zvezda service module by Max Sereyev and uh, Roman Romanenko deactivating uh, the Toru, the telerobotically operated rendezvous system that would have been used had uh, there been an issue with the core's automated rendezvous system, but there was no issue. This was a flawless approach and docking by the brand new module, the Poisk, the mini research module 2, a brand new docking port and airlock has arrived at the International Space Station. Transmit button 3.